Eyewitness News is revealing new evidence in the death of a Philadelphia school teacher more than a decade ago. Tomorrow, Ellen Greenberg's family and their attorney will make their case to a city judge to argue her death was a homicide and not a suicide. Matt Petrillo is in Center City right now. Matt, you have some of the evidence that will be presented tomorrow. Yuki, that's right. You know, if you or I got cut by something, we bleed. It's just a part of being alive. But a medical examiner who reviewed part of Ellen Greenberg's body found something unusual. There was no bleeding or hemorrhaging after some of her stab wounds. Ellen Greenberg was a beloved teacher who worked at Juniana Park Academy. Ellen was a, a very, very good, caring person. But her parents say she had her life cut short at just 27 years old after she was found dead in her Maniunk apartment with more than 20 stab wounds to her body. It happened in 2011. Now, a decade later, Greenberg's parents are still pushing the Philadelphia Medical Examiner's Office to change her manner of death from a suicide to homicide. We want justice for our daughter. So that wound. In 2020, you might remember the Greenberg family attorney showed Eyewitness News images he says forensically proved Ellen could not have stabbed herself 20 times. Have you ever been deposed before? Yes. Now, this deposition of a city hired medical expert reveals testimony that corroborates those images, according to the Greenberg's family attorney, Joe Pedraza. In this neuropathologist's best determination, Ellen wasn't alive when she was stabbed. The deposition is of neuropathologist Lindsay Emery. She was hired by Philadelphia to review Ellen Greenberg's spinal cord a few years ago. Watch as Emery reveals her findings for the first time to the Greenberg's attorney, Joe Pedraza. What's significant here is that there's no hemorrhage. And in your experience, no hemorrhage can equate to the person having been deceased at the time of the administration of the trauma. Yeah, I mean, in general, no hemorrhage means no pulse. People without pulses do not stab themselves repeatedly. So that by itself establishes suicide is absolutely impossible in this case. Corroborates what we've always thought. This was not a suicide. This was a vicious homicide. And at tomorrow's afternoon hearing here in Center City, a Philadelphia judge could determine if Ellen Greenberg's manner of death should be changed to a homicide. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you for that.